friends and we are back again it's been a wee while since we've done a video so we are here to share a couple of things with you guys now yesterday I went to Troon Beach with my mum and dad and Misty and I took Pixie and Roxy with me as well it was a really hot day but we had a nice cool sea breeze we walked five miles so we were really really tired um, we decided to leave about I think it was about half two three o'clock just because it was so hot and the dogs were really really tired and you could tell that the, the heat was bothering them so we decided to leave early but we were well equipped with cool water I had previously frozen a bottle of water and uh, they had nice cool water to drink and we also took a trip into Pooch Pantry and we got the dogs some frozen yoghurt which is really really good. We've not tried that brand before, we always have the Billy and Margot ice cream for dogs. So this time they have the, I think it's called Frozies, I've got some in the freezer, I'll need to pull them out, but they're called Frozies and they're frozen yoghurt. And this is new for us to try, so I thought, you know, I would show it on video and give you guys a wee look and see what it looks like. And I thought I would share the rest of what it is we got in Pooch Pantry. We don't really go there that often, so when we do go, I make it worth my while and I get some supplies and stuff. I have to say, the, the treat section was... We've more or less tried quite a few of the treats in there. I would really go up there and get treats that they really enjoy that I can't really get here. So um, we decided to get um, some treats and of course I filled up my wee stamp book and every time you go and you spend so much money you get a wee paw stamp and then once you fill the card you get uh, to pick something out of the basket um, for free. So we managed to do that as well but I'll just jump and get the yogurt and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. Now, I'm going to show you the haul that I got. The dogs are sitting down beside me. Again, it is really, really hot outside. Just look at that weather. It's currently sitting at 21 degrees right now. So I took the dogs out for a quick walk in the park this morning and they won't go out until, um, they won't go out for another walk until tea time and that'll only be for a wee quick 10-15 minutes just because it's so hot um, I tend, tend not to take them out for any length of time apart from yesterday obviously um, so what will we show first okay let's show you the frozen yogurt first and um, I do have some clips of the dogs eating the frozen yogurt yesterday although Pixie wasn't really that interested I think because she was just too hot she couldn't be bothered my nose is getting better so please excuse the redness okay the first thing this is just my mum's tub of ice cream Misty doesn't really eat it so um, she gave it to us for the dogs so this is a Billy and Margot strawberry and apple and you can get these in Troon as well so that's the first one and they're really handy to have in hot weather this is the frozies let me just take it out the packet i did buy them one each there was quite a few flavors there was only really cranberry and blueberry left but there was an, a kind of burst open packet of the strawberry but I decided to get the cranberry and blueberry. Now, I can't exactly remember how much these were. My total bill came to about £25 um, with everything that I got. So, I can't really remember how much these were. But this is cranberry and it's called Frozies for Dogs. And it's lactose-free, lickable frozen yogurt for dogs, rich in vitamins and minerals and fibre. Now, let me see. Oh. Just seen there, it's not really got any ingredients on it. Hmm. Okay, didn't really notice that. Okay. Anyway, so you open it up, it looks like that inside. Now the dogs have had a good lick of that. Now that's rock solid. So I'm probably going to need to let that sit for a minute or two just to help defrost. And this is the blueberry one. And here we go. Now, I've made frozen yoghurt before and I actually bought blueberries to make them again because we are going into the hotter weather 
and all I done was add um, natural yogurt into a blender along with some blueberries, blend it up, put it into ice cube trays and then you get some frozen yogurt, don't you? Yes, some frozen yogurt. Mm -hmm. So they went down a treat. I'll include a clip of the, the dogs eating the frozen yogurt um, at the end of this video, just at the beach. Okay, the next thing we got was the Lily's Kitchen um, Organic Beef Supper. Now, I do have an order of Lily's Kitchen coming with a month's worth of food. And I did get a wee bit extra just because it was, if you spend £75, you get a free bag of food. Usually I spend about £53 for a month for the dogs to eat and that's given me a wee bit left over at the end of the month. So yesterday, and we did end up going back to my mum's for dinner, so thank goodness I bought two of these because um, I wouldn't have had anything for the dogs for their meal. But I bought an organic chicken one and we opened the organic beef supper this morning, so the dogs thoroughly enjoyed that. And they only get, I divide the tray into six, so they only get like a wee cube in their biscuits. And that's them, so they really enjoyed that. Hello, Pixie. Oh, are you sniffing? Are you sniffing? You need to let it cool down first. Don't want your tongue sticking to it. No, we don't. What are you saying? Cheeky monkey, are you tired after your walk? Five miles? Five miles? Holy moly. Mm-hmm. Okay, the next thing we got was, and this was our freebie that we got after we filled our card. Now there was either this, a shampoo, or a, some kind of rawhide chew thing, and I stayed away from that because you know what the dogs are like with chew things. This one choked on the last one, made herself unwell, and the vet bill was quite pricey. Um, this one's okay on chew things, but because she doesn't do well on two things I can't really get her anything so um, I just decided to go with the Lily's Kitchen Wild Campfire Stew and this is a 400 gram tin and everything in here there's organic in here so that is partially organic which is really healthy so it's like venison, pheasant and salmon. And they've had this before, so I know they can eat this. Um, I know they can't have the wet meat of the lamb because that goes for Pixie's stomach and she ends up with a, a runny tummy. Um, however, she's all right on the dry lamb. It's just the wet lamb she can't eat. Yes. Yes, that's well campfire stew. Though we can't have that for dinner tonight because we're having this one. Mm-hmm. you have it tomorrow, maybe? And that'll do them. If I if I open a tin like this, the tins only really last um, two days. The tins last two days. So what I would do is that's four meals. So I would divide the tin into four really. So they would get a wee bit extra wet meat in that meal. But it's all one. It's all one. Look at those sad eyes. Look at those sad eyes. <laughs> yes. Okay, she's waiting for the good stuff. The next thing we got was just now they're overloaded with toys just now so I only got two wee toys. So this was a wee fish, wee rubber fish, which Pixie loves. Oh, do you like it? Pixie. Are you going to get it? Go get it. She really likes that. And the seahorse, we got a seahorse as well. Gonna get it? Go get it. As you can see, we've had a bit of rearrangement here from their crate, so she really enjoys those toys. The next thing we got was, in fact, yes, the next thing we got was the crunchy dog treats. And these are the Scottish Cheddar. Now, my mum bought these for Misty, but I think it was the honey one, or was it the peanut butter one? And she never ate them because they were quite hard. So we got them, and the dogs really enjoyed them. They're a nice size, they're quite thin and crunchy, and you get quite a lot in a bag. These were about £2 something, I think. £2 something. And we decided to get the Cheddar one. So they're wee cubes like this. 
and you want it, you take it in. You want one pixie? And there you go. Good girl. So they're quite a crunchy treat. Um, let me just show you up close. There you go. So they're like wee kind of cereal type biscuits. Right, we'll go take another one then. Don't say I'm not good to you. And in this we have wholemeal flour, oatmeal, Scottish cheddar cheese, eggs and chicken stock. So very healthy. And you only get 100 grams. And the good thing about this bag is it is resealable. So you just fold it down. And then you fold these wee bits to the back. And that's it. Sealed. You're not getting any more? No. Okay, the next thing we got was our favourite. Again, Billy and Margot. And these are the popcorn for dogs, which you've seen us have before. We've not had it for quite a while. So when I go up there, I do make the most of getting things like these. And this is with seaweed. Now, Pixie wasn't that into the popcorn a wee while ago, but the more she had it, the more she ate it. So um, I'm not going to open this just because I have to use it within seven days of opening. So once I open it, I'm going to need to finish it by next week. And I do have quite a few things open just now. So that is our popcorn. The next thing I got was, and I do have this coming in my Lily's Kitchen order, is the Lily's Kitchen Dry Food for Dogs. And it is the organic chicken with vegetable bake. And everything in here is organic. All the ingredients are organic. I could go through organic um, rice, organic barley, organic oats, organic rice. But I'm not going to bother, so I'll just show you. So that is what is in it. And up here it tells you what the herbs um, are good for, which is really, really good. And the only problem is this only comes in a one kilogram bag or a seven point five kil or a seven kilogram bag. They don't come in a two point five. And my other bags of food I would get from uh, Lily's Kitchen comes in a two. Well, I would buy the two point five kilogram bags just because that lasts me the month. But it's nice to just have a wee change and get a wee kilogram bag. And this is the bag I picked for free um, when I made my order. Because it was only, although I buy 2.5 kilogram bags, um, the offer or the, or the freebie was only a 1 kilogram bag. So we decided to go with the organic chicken as well. So, um, and these biscuits are really small. They're smaller than what their normal biscuits are. So this is also certified organic, which is really good. And the dogs are really liking these. That's it mixed in with the wheat teaspoonful of wet meat. There you go. I guess I'm hungry this morning. Or this afternoon even. Yes. Would you like some more? There you go. It's a wee pile for you. There you go. Mmm. Yep. Doggy approved. Okay, so that's that. And that bag was about eight pounds, so that's the organics a wee bit more expensive than what the normal um, bags of food are. And Misty has just recently started on Lily's Kitchen. She is such a fuss pot for eating food. She's an absolute nightmare. She was on Royal Cannon, and then she started going off for that. She's been on so many, just like I had been on so many with Pixie and Roxy. Misty's been on probably just as much as well until we found Lily's Kitchen. So. Uh, advised my mum to try Lily's Kitchen. It's really good. I've noticed a difference in my dogs um, since having them on that. They've been on that for about over six months now um, and it was really really good. So um, she's trying that but the biscuits are a wee bit too big for Misty just because she's quite a small Shih Tzu. She's a, probably, she's half the weight of this one actually. This one's eight kilograms. Aren't you Roxy? You're eight kilograms in weight and little Misty's only four. She's only small. And um, so she's trying her on Lily's Kitchen. Now, I think she's on the chicken and the duck just now, which is a kind of flat biscuit. And I did advise her to try the organic one just because the biscuits are so much smaller. And um, she's trying to 
put a wee bit of wet meat in it just because she's not eating it dry. She's she's wanting something in it and when there's wet meat in it, she scoffs it and it goes down without even hitting the sides. So I said to my mum, is it that bad that you have just a wee tiny teaspoonful of wet meat in it? At least you know she's eating. So we'll see how she goes with that. But Because I gave her a um, couple of scoops of the organic one to try before she goes and buys, then I, she gave me some of her treats that she bought from Lily's Kitchen. So she got this um, kind of sausage-like thing. And I've got two of these. And this is a fish sausage. Oh, and it stinks. Fish sausage. Would you like one? Well, that's a bit chewy and big for you. So let me break a bit off. Oh, there you go. She's so gentle. Oh, it's going to break. Oh, it's going to break. Here, pull it. Oh, you made a mess. Oh, for goodness me. Yeah. My fingers are going to be stinking now. Here, Pixie, do you want the rest of it? There you go. Eat it nice now. Okay, so that is us and that was our purchases from Pooch Pantry. So just wanted to share that with you guys and let you know what it is that we got. I'll include a video at the end of this with um, Pixie and Roxy eating the frozen ice cream. Or the frozen yoghurt, sorry. And um, some pictures of us at the beach. The last thing I'm going to show you and the reason why I've not posted anything all weekend is because me and Jamie have been so busy. As you know from our last video... Jamie was making a homemade marine fish tank for our little mini reef. However, that kind of plan fell apart, um, literally. And um, we got managed to get a good deal at Pets at Home for a tank. And we managed to get all the sand, the salt water, the rock and everything over the weekend. We, went, we got it all on Saturday, set it up on the Saturday after I had finished my three 12-hour night shifts. And we then um, went back to Coral Reef and Water World Aquatics on the Sunday, got some more live rock to fill it up and we, Jamie went back to Dobeji yesterday to get our last piece of live rock and I'll just show you quickly what it is like all set up. So there we go, this is our marine tank, so there's nothing in the cupboard underneath, just wires and everything and our tank is 130 litres and we got all the rock for it, the sand, salt water and you know it's amazing how quick things come to life in your tank. We already have um, some feather dusters if you can see them there, they're like wee wormy things. Um, I do have a, a, what do you call it, a bristle worm? Brittle? No, a bristle worm, yes, they're quite jivey living in this rock and up in this one, it's a wee hiding, um, this one's got quite a lot of life on it, um, but this one we have the feather dusters at the back and we also have what we found last night was um, a brittle starfish and it's quite small. Now I'm just going to show you this quickly, if I put my hand over here you'll see the feather dusters go away. Oh, this one's not wanting to go away. No, it's not wanting to go away. Anyway, so our tank's all set up and we've got like holes in between. We've got a wee kind of cave through here for things to hide. We just need to leave it now for two weeks and then we can put our snails in and some shrimp. And we thought we were going to actually have two to four weeks with just looking at rock. But there's actually quite a lot that's came from the rock and it's quite interesting to look at and you're you're like constantly staring at it so this is our tank so you might see this in future videos and you'll probably see our progress on that as well but that is us okay so i'm away out to enjoy the sunshine now 
Thank you very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment. And as always, please subscribe to our channel and we will see you guys later. Bye. Thank you.